Hey, it's Outdoors with Lori. Um, I decided to just run down for a quick hike at what people that I grew up with called the lake, Lake Stevens. This is where we spent uh, camping most of our summers. And I'm at the dam and I'm probably just gonna walk. There's an old, there's a, a logging road around part of the lake that I'm gonna walk on, but I came back to this little cove right off from the dam to see if I could find any um, bobbers or... We've got several people out here, fish, people fishing, I guess. Pretty cool. But this little cove, I, I come down here in the summer and I'll kayak some. I don't think I came down any this summer, which is unusual for me. But I'm just going to take a quick walk. Uh, just a little country lake where I grew up and have a lot of memories. Have, you know, all every, just everybody in our area came down here and either went to the little beach to swim or camped here, uh, fished here. So I'm hoping I can find some... Uh, fishing lures or bobbers hung up in trees or just along this cove because you can see the path where people walk out here and fish. But so far I haven't seen any. Ooh, some berries. I don't think they're edible berries, but they're pretty. And West Virginia's in full-fledged fall. Most of the leaves, as you can see, are already gone. Cold weather has set in. We've had a rain last night. So a lot, everything's on the ground. There are some little ducks. You see them? Hmm. up on them. Too noisy. So I didn't find any bobbers or anything. And I decided... I just grabbed on the saplings and climbed up the side of the hill, right, just up this, climbed up through there to get to this path, and this is the, the little, it's gated, but it's an old logging road, and you can come in through it on the back end, I think they keep that gate open. And there's back ways to the lake through here. But um, you, you rarely run into people unless they're riding dirt bikes or side by sides, that kind of thing. So this is pretty much it. Just a little old gravel, dirt, uh, logging road right in the heart of Lake Stevens area. And unless we stir up a deer or a raccoon, something like that, we, this'll be, this'll be the day. I already saw you, little squirrel climbing over here. That'll be pretty much it I would expect. So you'll go through a lot of muddy ground, I guess, where it has rained yesterday, rained yesterday I think. Uh, and this, every time I've been here, you could have mud puddles. So you just walk along the fringe either way, and you can see where vehicles have been through here. Uh, in the summer, you see frogs and tadpoles. I was hoping we could see a little turtle. Ow, oh, briars. But um, I haven't seen any. It might be too cold right now for them to be out in the water. But so far I've just seen deer tracks and some dog tracks. I'm sure someone's out here, you know, walking with their dog. Quiet. Damp. Hear the raven or the crow in the background occasionally. Occasionally other birds. Squirrel occasionally. That's about it. Nice and quiet. A lot of my childhood was spent doing this. 
because we didn't uh, really vacation a lot. We came down here and camped some, but uh, pretty much what I did was either solitary walking in the woods or when my brother got old enough, we, we hung out in the woods kind of doing this and climbing trees and just that kind of stuff. I don't know if you can see, it's little finches and they're causing a little stir. And I figure they have a nest right over here somewhere. Let me see if they'll kick up if I come back over to it. Oh, and these thickets would be great for birds and deer. That big thicket right there. Here. Um, I felt like something grabbed me right below, like at the top of my leg, on the back, underneath my bottom. Uh, or, just a few minutes ago and was talking out loud and said, you know, I, I feel you, whatever you are, I feel you. And I said that up on the mountain and two deer stirred and I was going to video, but they were so far into the, almost at the top of the mountain, you wouldn't be able to see them, but I still have that feeling that something's grabbing me like right at the top, like on my hip. I do that. That is not uncommon for me at all. But a little unusual here. I've never, don't think I've ever had that feeling or anything, feel like anything's touching me. I, I've had a reoccurring dream of being um, attacked by a bear. It's a very particular dream. And one of the sensations that I feel, can feel the his, he comes behind me, and uh, I feel teeth in my shoulder, and then I can feel the the warmth of the, my blood running down my sh my my shoulder into my uh, chest and back, and I keep having that vision that not vision I guess, but that sensation of something biting me and on my shoulder, and then then I got grab. Uh, under my bottom and kind of was like, whoa, what am I doing out here? <laughs> this is just meant to be a quick little walk. But those are the things that happened to me. Yay. Okay, where are we here? A woodpecker or a turkey? I think it sounded like a woodpecker to me.